What's up everybody, it's your boy Zox, and we're back with another dislike video. Now in today's video, we're gonna actually be getting into the community concerns. Um, I wanted to kind of do this video because a part of my goal with this channel, um, and it's pretty present because I do know that, um, you know, the development team does watch my content um, to see what exactly is going on. I know that they're also receiving feedback from you guys in the Discord. And I think that it's also important that I utilize my platform to not only praise them, but to also let them know when there's potential things that um, you know can be fixed and I think it's very important that as a creator I try to use my platform to kind of give some type of format as to how we can go about doing this said thing and that's gonna be the prime example within this video so uh, of course guys if you do find that you like this video definitely make sure you let your boy know in the comment section down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more dislike content all right so let's go ahead and get straight into it I think the first task at hand um, um, it's just to kind of talk about one of the things that I do think is pretty necessary in order to kind of create that culture within the community. And I think one thing that could really be helpful is actually explaining why exactly certain changes are happening. Um, you know, for a many of different reasons, like some of us that are at higher calibers in the game might be able to understand or put two and two together in certain aspects, but it definitely is received much differently, you know, than, you know, when I just say, I think that this is why they're doing it in comparison to, you know, the development team saying hey this is why we're making these changes um and i think like some form of developer note would be like really nice in that regard like saying hey okay these are the reasons as to why stamina is being changed or this is the reason why this character is getting nerfed this is the reason why that character is having this change or being buffed um i think that that's also something really really important to have uh giving a little bit in further explanation because i noticed from looking at many of the different um you know feedback suggestions and stuff like that is simply that people just don't understand it they don't know why exactly um you know certain things are happening and I think that's a pretty valid point to bring up. It's like, why exactly are we having these changes happen? Now, granted, me as a creator, I can put two and two together. Like, for those that don't know, I have been creating content for the last six years. Uh, I have two other successful channels that I've been able to maintain. Um, and also, on top of that, this is, you know, my third channel that I've been working on. Uh, and probably the channel that I've honestly been putting the most amount of time into as of late. Um, so I do completely understand you guys, where you guys are coming from, but I also understand where the other aspects that you guys might not see uh, and why I do feel like that bridge needs to be kind of made to kind of relay some of that information. So it makes it a little bit easier for you guys to maybe understand and or give even more concrete information as to why you think things shouldn't be a certain way. Um, now, of course, with that being said, I will say firsthand, I can vouch for the fact that the development team um, is open to suggestions. They're looking for feedback from us. Um, and I think like one of the biggest things is obviously utilizing that uh, channel within the Discord, which a lot of people have been doing. Uh, we've been getting some really good feedback. Um, for example, uh, someone actually gave feedback talking about the nerfing of EXP methods. Um, and I really thought that that was something worth talking about. Um, it's really... Um, uh, something that you know does matter within this game uh, farming up your characters building up your characters um, and the one thing that I will say is also to kind of giving us a reason as to like you know a, a direction not necessarily just the reason as to why things are being nerfed but also what exactly are you guys trying to accomplish with the game um, I've seen many of different games do this and it seems to also have been pretty helpful because when you know you get into these later you know patches and things are being changed or nerfed if you go back to the original mission statement of what exactly a company is trying to do with that said product or project um, it makes it a lot easier for players to also understand like okay that makes sense they're trying to accomplish this so that's why this is happening now to kind of give my take on a lot of these things that are happening within the game i do feel like a lot of it has to do with the fact they seem to be trying to implement live pvp now we are getting the dual system next patch and from what it looks like is a lot of the nerfing and i guess to kind of tackle the aspect of nerfing units 
in a game that has PvP, nerfing has to exist. There is not one game that has a perfect PvP system, especially when we're talking about a system that doesn't completely balance out every character's stats. And when we're also looking at the monetization aspect of these games, um, it's really hard to do that to say, hey, let's just balance out everybody's accounts. And so it's this even playing field to where free to play players and pay to win players are on the same playing field. And it just shouldn't be that way. Because if someone's putting in, you know, $2,000, $3,000 into a game, they have to have some type of tangible value to that money that they are putting within the game. I think the other thing to also kind of mention too, is that when they make these games, a lot of the things that are going to be catered are not necessarily always going to be in favor of free to play. Yes, we're going to try and I'm going to try to advocate as much as I possibly can for us as, you know, either free to play players and or just consumers of the game in general, whether you're putting money in or not, because there are some things that have changed that affect both. Uh, but ultimately, a lot of things like the main thing that I definitely do feel like should, of course, may, m remain president in terms of free to play progression or, um, you know, people that aren't putting money into the game is PVE content. Is it completable with what you have? And that's one thing that I think that a lot of players are having issues with is because of the nerfs, characters that they might have been using in PvE content isn't as usable as they were before. And because there are certain aspects of the game where you know EXP and certain things are being nerfed, it is making it much harder to readjust and rebuild a new unit. Um, now, one thing that I definitely think is definitely necessary within this game is a form of a reset ticket. Uh, they did it for the Ra and the, um, the Thor I think it was Ra, Thor, and I think it was also, it was another character, Bio Dina. They did it for those characters. And I think that that's something to actually continue on doing if there's going to be nurse for the pre-existing players to have to deal with. Now, obviously, when we're talking about three stars and, you know, of that nature getting nerfed, that's one thing. I think that those are a little bit easier to kind of readjust from. But when we're also talking about, like, you know, now moving into our four and five stars, that's definitely something that is a lot harder for the average player that's not putting money into the game to actually adjust from. So I do think that that is something that's worth, you know, mentioning and kind of adjusting. Uh, just to give players a much overall better experience in that aspect just like okay this character got nerfed but now i can make that conscious decision to either keep my investment in that character and or take that set investment and move it and shift it into a different one uh, now of course like i said this is just a thing that i would say to consider um that would honestly take a lot of heat away from the fact that even things like exp you know are being nerfed because you know if that's the case where you know i have now i'm able to take what i invested in a character and move it to another i'm not really thinking about the fact that oh man i have to go back and refarm and rebuild and re-gear this character to get them to a certain state because the less things you have to worry about to get a character to a certain point the easier it is and the more accepting people will be of certain changes. And I really think that that's something that, um, from what I've seen, a lot of it is just the overall communication. And I will say, like, don't get me wrong, the team that's currently working on Dislike has been very communicative. Um, you know, definitely have to recognize like, you know, Tiki being in the Discord, super active talking with us, uh, making sure that there are people in place, Dribble, you know, a few other of the moderators that are in place to constantly answer questions. Uh, so it's not all bad and I don't want it to seem like that. And I don't think we should make it seem like that either. Because overall, in terms of a generalized product, the game is absolutely amazing. There are, of course, things that do need to be handled and fixed because it could prom you know, it could come up as a potential problem in the future. But like I said, I think a lot of it does have to do with the fact that real time PvP seems to be on the rise within this game. And when we're dealing with PvP systems, unfortunately, there is going to be constant nerfs within games to adjust and make it to where these characters aren't solely busted on their own and emphasizing team composition, actually having to think when you're compiling a team together. And that, of course, making different team methods, whether it's cleave, whether it's CCing, whether you decide to do, I don't know, an AP absorption team comp and it still be able to work well um, in those competitive settings. Now, like I said, to kind of all sum this up, I definitely do think that you guys should, of course, 
post more of your suggestions inside of the discord there is a tab and it's actually under the umbrella of let me find the exact name for you guys game suggestions okay game suggestions is the tab that you want to go into and there are a few like i said that are absolutely amazing uh you know suggestions um there's no you know form of demeaning to the development team and it's just purely about the state of what they feel or that each individual feels that you know should be changed within the game and a lot of these i do agree with um like i said the exp is definitely one of the biggest things of course the raising of the stamina cost i think that that should be kind of sort of further to explain as to why that's potentially happening and i really do think lilith it would be super important for you guys to put out some form of mission statement for what exactly you guys are trying to accomplish with the game um even even as as of right now because that's definitely going to be something that the players now will talk about to the players coming into the future and i think that the more concrete and clear things are uh you know whether this is a game that you guys want people to be invested in all day or if this is a game that you want players to be able to play on the side pick up in their leisure time and kind of enjoying it here and there i think that that's a very important thing to put out there so that players have a better understanding of what exactly they're getting into and they're not one expecting something that they'll never get and then of course the because the expectation is set will then know how to better relay information when someone's asking a specific question about why something is a certain way so that's going to be that for this video. Um, I hope that, you know, like I said, a lot of these things do get changed. Um, we have a many of different patches. And we have a lot of time before the game could potentially be coming out for things to be changed. So I will say, guys, don't get discouraged. Um, you know, I'm going to try my best to, you know, advocate as much as I possibly can. But I also will have to say as well, we have to be understanding that there's two sides to this coin. So as much as we can ask for, you know, what we want, there's a many of different things that one, take time. Um, and then, of course, too, uh, you know, it's just not always going to work in our favor um, because things also have to they also have to make sense on the other side as well. So I guess that's just going to be that for this video. Um, like I said, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Make sure you go into the game suggestion um, tab and let them know exactly what you think and what you feel. And let it be constructive. Let it make sense. Don't go in there. Comment any nonsense, please. All right. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one.